Hello everyone, welcome you all. So in this video we are going to discuss about clap oscillator. So we can say this is the modified version of Colpitt's oscillator. So the only difference here is we are using an extra capacitor that is C0 in this uh, circuit. So the clap oscillator uses a single inductor and the three capacitor to set its frequency. So in case of Colpitt's oscillator, the output frequency is fluctuating. So in order to make it stable, we are using an extra uh, capacitor that is C0 in the circuit to maintain the frequency at a point here. So this is often drawn as a Colpitt's oscillator uh, that has a additional capacitor C0 placed in the series with the inductor. So we know that for Colpitt's oscillator, the circuit is something like this. So two uh, capacitors are connected in series and that series combination is connected in parallel with the inductor so the only difference is here a c naught is added in case of clap oscillator to make the frequency stable so this circuit is the mosfet here which is connected to amplify the signal so this is the output and this these are the feedback terminals so feedback terminals are given to the drain and the base and source is connected to the output of the uh, tank circuit so this is a tank circuit okay so this is a tank circuit and this is the culprits oscillator itself and for which uh, extra c naught capacitor is connected so the oscillation frequency is given by f0 is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into 1 divided by l 1 by c0 plus 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 so l is the inductance and c0 c1 c2 are the capacitance of the capacitors and here capacitor c1 c2 are usually much larger than the c0 so 1 by so c1 c2 will be much larger than the c0 so whenever we want to take the inductive capa inductance or the capacitance we will be taking in the uh, 1 by uh, 1 by l and 1 by c0 form we will be taking so these are the impedances uh, which are offered by the inductor and the capacitor so 1 by c0 turn will be uh, dominating the other capacitance because c0 is very uh, less as compared to the 1 by c1 so 1 by c0 will dominate the 1 by c1 and 1 by c2 so its addition will be dominated by the 1 by c0 term so the uh, dominates the other capacitance and the frequency is near the series resonance of l and c0 so only the resonance frequency is decided by these two components that is f is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi l 1 by l and c1 c2 are dominated by the c0 so they will be neglected and 1 by c0 will be there so the resonance frequency or the output frequency is only decided by the l and c0 values so this is just to make the output of the Colpitt's oscillator stable we are using a, uh, uh, the third capacitor in series with the inductance so that's the only difference between the Colpitt's oscillator and clap oscillator so it is having more thermal stability and the frequency of uh, this uh, clap oscillator is greater as compared to the Colpitt's oscillator so this is all about clap oscillator uh, so I hope you like the video please guys if you are new to the channel hit